Swan is a Bitcoin only exchange that allows you to purchase Bitcoin. So how can they be such a widely used exchange if they only allow you to buy Bitcoin and not sell it with them? I'm Darren, recently a Swan user, and in this video, I'm going to review Swan Bitcoin, its features, fees, how you can get started, who is it right for, and at the end, I'm gonna show you how you can get $10 in free Bitcoin for getting started. It is a unique service, it's not really an exchange, it's more of an OTC slash brokerage. So the selling points of Swan is that it is really easy to set up recurring buys. You don't even have to press any of the buttons, you just set it up once and forget it. When purchasing large amounts, you have that support of Swan Private. So you're not just YOLOing into an exchange based in Singapore with hundred to $150,000 wire that you have no idea if they have a support team or not. They have free withdrawals of Bitcoin and even pay the network fees. This is pretty rare as a lot of exchanges do not offer this. They allow corporations, entities, trusts to purchase Bitcoin and they are Bitcoin only, which means they don't waste any resources time on any of the other coins, tokens out there in which recently we saw, you know, UST just take an absolute dive along with Luna and exchanges out there that list them, have resources, with them have to do brand recovery stop trading so it's really a lot of liability when you work with other coins now to get started on swan bitcoin it is all done through your email and make sure your email is secure because for some reason there is no passwords on swan bitcoin when you log in they will just give you a code directly to your email to access your account so do not use an email from when you were you know eight years old and have a four digit password because this is the way to get in it. There's no passwords on Swan Bitcoin. They have to follow KYC AML rules. So you're gonna have to give your ID and your information. This is all, you upload all of this yourself and then wait for approval. If you're good with that, did all those steps, you're ready to get started. So logging into the dashboard, this is a new account for me that I just created for this video. So this is your Bitcoin section. This is what is currently available. This is your total purchase over time, et cetera. Now, the first thing we need to do is deposit money to purchase Bitcoin. Number one question you should ask, is your bank in the USA? If it is, you should set up to connect your bank with Swan or you can send an ACH. If you have an international account, you need to set up a wire. It gives you all of the directions to do so. For ACHs, there is a clearing time of 10 days. So you cannot purchase Bitcoin until your money hits the account after 10 days. Push ACH gives the ability for you to purchase after 24 hours. For wires, they can only accept USD. So if you have an international account, you have to convert your money into USD before wiring it into Swan. There is a $250 minimum and your funds are available 24 hours after a wire. Once our money is in there, we're gonna be moving on to purchasing Bitcoin. And the first thing they walk you through is what's called the savings plan. So this is an option where you can set up a recurring dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. Well, once your funds are cleared, you can set up a purchase of Bitcoin either daily, monthly, or weekly. It'll automatically default to the weekly purchase, but you can also buy Bitcoin instantly. So you don't have to follow this specific timeline. So once you've purchased it, you'll see it on your purchase Bitcoin. There will be another section for your cleared Bitcoin available to be withdrawn. Unfortunately, you have to wait 24 hours to withdraw your Bitcoin after a purchase. This is one of the negatives with Swan. They say it is due to fraud because ACHs have a window of dispute that is longer than anything else like a wire transfer. When they are sending a hard asset like Bitcoin, there's no way to get it back. But in the financial world, you can argue and get your money back. So um, they're really just covering themselves here and taking on less risk. Scrolling down, you'll see a gifting section. This is kind of a cool feature that I don't really see in other exchanges. Um, so if you ever thought about how to I uh, gift Bitcoin, well, the minimum you can gift is $21 and the maximum is $9,900. Recipient has to have a different email and be a different person than you. If they do not already have a Swan account, it will have an email prompt where they can log in and then sign up to a Swan account and accept their gift. If they do have a Swan account, it will automatically be in there within the next day or so. 
So if you want to withdraw your Bitcoin into your own wallet, you can create a threshold to withdraw it weekly, monthly, whatever you want. Because if you're dollar cost averaging, you don't want to go in there and do it manually all the time. You can have it do it automatically. They do have instant withdrawal, so you can go in there and withdraw anytime you want. However, again, it is 24 hours after you've made a purchase that you can withdraw it. You can put in your address and all of your withdrawals will go to that address. Or another recommended way would be putting in an XPUB this changes all of your addresses each time Swan sends it to you. So any chain analysis company would have a harder time connecting it back to you. Swan Bitcoin has a lot of good reports for accounting purposes, tax purposes, um, all very easily accessible for download. Now the fees on Swan, when you purchase, they take 0.99% which is almost 1% of everything. And that is on all purchases. So if you deposited $100,000 to purchase Bitcoin, you will receive $99,000 in Bitcoin back. Now this is a little bit more expensive than those large worldwide shitcoin exchanges like Binance, Gemini, or Coinbase, but it is a lot cheaper than ATMs, Cash App, Venmo, or many OTC brokerages, so it kind of puts it in the middle of that. But the fees for withdrawing your Bitcoin are zero, and they even pay the network fee. And many exchanges will have a fee on top of the network fee to withdraw your Bitcoin. So that's always good. You get to keep more Bitcoin when it comes into your own wallet. If you like what you saw here, you can get started with Swan. Um, you get $10 in Bitcoin for getting started. So that's it with Swan Bitcoin. It makes it simple, easy to set it and forget it. There's not much to go wrong on the app. Very intuitive, very easy to use. You're not gonna be falling into other coins, other trading, leverage situations. Pretty disappointing to see all the wait times for withdrawals on the app, but Swan is really for a Bitcoiner who has conviction in Bitcoin for the future and is in no rush to trade market swings. Number one, because you can't sell on Swan, and number two, as you do have to wait to withdraw to your own wallet. It's really ideal for anyone with a US bank account to ACH in to connect your bank account and make daily purchases, or someone who wants to purchase large amounts of Bitcoin via wire transfer. Now, if I was trying to buy Bitcoin via wire transfer with USD, Swan would be the place that I would go to do it. Again, you can get started by using my link below and see if it's right for you. Let me know if you've had any experience with Swan, any questions, I'll help answer them for you. And uh, thanks for watching.